Hi, I'm Tony. Hi, I'm Ann. Welcome, friends. Today we're going to start building the round pen for our horses. Um, we have some, uh, a little bit of help. We went to Michiana Rental here in Niles and we rented a Groundhog HD99 post hole auger. We've, uh, we've already driven one hole. It's not as easy as it looks on TV. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get this done, get these posts in the ground today anyway and we'll bring you along on this journey. I think we'll have some fun with a lot of hard work. So like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if, to get all of our info and our next videos. So here we go. Okay, we need to measure out. First things first, we gotta get uh... We gotta get everything measured out. We're doing a 35 foot round pen. And uh, we're gonna put in Stakes. 12 or 13 posts every 10 foot apart. So let's get this laid. You better feel closer to the ground, honey. Thank you. See if it's ten foot from that post to this post. Or approximately. 
mean, this is the gate, so. I know. Nine. Hello friends. Hello. Well Saturday's about coming to an end. We're going to uh, call it a day out here in the round pen. But we wanted to show you what we got done. And uh, we'll get her finished up tomorrow. So here we go. Right here is going to be the gate. Um, we'll be taking the wire down there and there'll be a gate to come in to the round pen and then we set four by fours all the way around three foot in the ground we did not cement them we had a little problem with a couple of the holes rocks and roots but overall I'd say the groundhog auger was well worth the uh, price that we paid for it. 
Honey, what do you think? I think it was well worth it. Um, we had to use the post hole digger only to clean them out. But so far, so good. And we'll see what other holes need to be dug before we take it back on Monday. So thank you, Michiana Rents. <laughs> um, what do you think of your thing? I like my round pen. I can't wait to get the horses in here and have them uh, see what we can do. So uh, I just can't wait. I know they didn't like the noise today. They had to st they stayed in the back, but you'll see them probably tomorrow. All right, so we got about half of it to go. And, uh, well, not half, half of the second row to go. And I think we're going to stop there. Uh, we're going to stop right there um, at the second row. And if we need to, we can get some cattle panels or some horse panels or something and tack up. But I think it'll make the, uh, it's going to give the pasture about 109 feet. Well, it's, it's 35 feet more, 35 foot diameter. I think that's 109 square feet, but you know, I could be wrong. I am not a math magician or magician or whatever it is. Mathematician. <laughs> so, all right. So with that being said, uh, we're going to go fire up the uh, pit, pit boss. boss and see what we can't get, uh, get cooked out there. All right, guys. Take care, and uh, we'll God see you bless. later. God bless. I screwed it up. Hello, friends. I just wanted to let you all know that I got the best wife ever. She uh, went out today, and she got me this. That's right, she got me a pit boss. <clears throat> We're trying it out. We got a couple pork steaks on here. Oh, don't that look good? Yummy, yummy. We got baked potatoes and mushrooms. And then I'll make some California blend mushroom, or vegetables to go along with our nice little bouncy little feast here. I wanted, we wanted to try this out so we know how it grilled. And then tomorrow we will do our smoker. We're gonna smoke a whole pork tenderloin. I wish you guys had smell of vision because man, does this smell good. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Turn in our potatoes. Probably another 10 minutes and it'll be dinner time. Okay, friends. Well, we're going to try and get this, uh, this finished today. We got a, like four more or five more boards to put on and uh, we'll have it all set. So here we go. Uh, stay with us. Watch us. Uh, we probably ain't doing this up to everybody's expectations, but it's I think good we'll enough do, for us. And it'll be enough for skunk and magic. So here we go.
<laughs> We're a little over half. A little over half that we got to cut, or what? Just barely. Huh? I think we can make it fit. Think so? Yeah. Lift it up just a hair. A little more. A little more. It's the bubble. Hold on. A little more. Right there. Right there? Right there. I moved it. Oh yeah, you did. Up a little higher. One little bit. There you go. I said, I'll be right back. Do you need any posts? I can't watch it. I can't watch it. I can't. I'm following you, baby. Sorry, man. No, we're not here, I was just saying how it matches. I already vision. It doesn't match up. We should have done it. We should have done it. Sit down a little bit. Sit down a little bit. Thank you. 
I was saying the ground. Okay, my friends, I think I got it pretty much complete other than the gate. Now we gotta get material for that. But uh, that's, I'll take you around and show you everything. Here we go. Here's the start. Comes around. Of course, it ain't as round as it's not as round as I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty round. It turned out, I think it turned out pretty nice. I think it looks really good. And like I said, it is 35 foot diameter. What do you think, babe? I think it's wonderful. It's going to give me a chance to work with them in the round pen, with you to work them in the round pen. So. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. What do you think, Smoke? Smokers, what you doing, baby? What do you think? All right. He says I gotta check it out. We're gonna work you in the round pen? He might have fun. You gonna work the horses in the round pen? Oh, Smokey boy. Why not? He already thinks he's a farm dog. <laughs> I'd rather right. be outside on the farm than inside. Right. 
All right, friends. I'm gonna call it quits for the day. I'm gonna go in and, uh, well, I'm gonna start the pit boss and I'm gonna go in and start editing and uh, try and get a video out today. If not, it'll be first thing in the morning. I just wanted to go through and show you the, uh, the round pin one last time. It may not be perfect, but I, I think I'm pretty proud of it. So, here we go. Those are actual wagon wheels. They're not uh, the fakies you can buy in any store. They're actual old time wagon wheels. Probably shouldn't have said that. They'll probably get stolen now. Ha ha. But that's the round pen. And uh, like I said, I'm I'm pretty proud of it. We've got a little bit of work to do yet. We gotta put a lower a lower board on there. It's a little high over on this side. Our yard slopes this way, so that's where we are with that. But I think it looks pretty good. We did do some testing with both magic and skunk and I'll try my best to get that on here we took I took that on my phone and I probably should have done it some other way but yeah there's the round pin and I like I said I think it looks pretty good I'm sure there'll be haters out there telling me that it ain't worth the crap and that it ain't gonna hold no horses. Uh, that brings me to another point. My mama always said, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Uh, we had some pretty rude comments on uh, skunk coming home. And we never claim to be professional horse trainers. Get that straight, people. We're just horse lovers, okay? Ann had horses growing up. I had horses down the street from me. I've had a couple, I've owned a couple horses and I've worked them. And I made out pretty good horses with them. Just because we don't do something your way doesn't mean it's wrong. When we first got Skunk, we were trying to lunch him with a rope, and that wasn't working very well. So we came up with the idea that he was in a round pen, and that maybe he needed to be trained in a round pen. Well, we built the round pen. It seems to work a little bit better. We will work with him on in the round pen. Um, Ann and I were both on him today, bareback. I uh, I drug him around a little bit. I just drug him around. I led him around a little bit the round pen, and I let him go. Probably shouldn't have, and uh, he kind of went a little bit crazy and. He did buck Ann off. Uh, my fault entirely. I should have. I should have absolutely not stopped holding him. Uh, but he was doing so well. I thought I would give it a try and let Ann try to go a little bit anyway. Well, so much for that idea. Anyway. Uh, With all that being said, I sure wish you guys would like, comment, and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, but it will help our channel out 
quite a bit. Um, hit the notification bell if you so desire. If you don't want to be bothered with when we post up a thing, don't hit the like or the the uh, notification bell. If you do want to be notified, please hit that notification bell. But please, if you're watching this video, please subscribe to our channel. It would help us out greatly. With that said, I hope you have a great day. God bless.